What's up everybody? I'm Coach Tyler with Fencer's Edge and today I've got a challenging workout for you. We are going to be doing the eight stage challenge today. For this workout, we're going to need a few things. If you don't have these things, we can get a little bit creative with uh, other things. But uh, we'll be needing about seven cones. If you don't have cones, you can use socks or any other type of marker um, that will work just fine. You'll need a coat hanger. I'm pretty sure most of you should have a coat hanger. Um, you will need an agility ladder. If you don't have an agility ladder, you can just use tape or sidewalk chalk. Um, we'll also be needing our weapons, your weapon of choice, either a saber, foil, or epee. I'll be demonstrating with all three today. Um, you will need some sort of target. I've got my fencing mask up there on the fence and you will need a sturdy chair or a bench of some sort. Um, optional, you could have a wrist weight to make things a little bit more challenging, but that's optional. If you have it, great. If you don't, don't worry about it. All right, so the way this workout works is we're going to be at each stage for two minutes at each stage. Some of the stages, you'll be doing different things at the one minute break. You'll do something for one minute and then you'll switch and go on to the next thing after the uh, first minute ends. But I'll explain that once we get to those different stages. It's really important that you warm up and stretch properly before this workout. If you're looking for a great warm up and stretching routine, I've got one on my YouTube channel. You can check out the link up here. All right, so for the first stage, I've got some cones lined up here in a zigzag pattern, and then I've got a line down there. It's about the length of a fencing strip or a fencing piece. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go around the outside of the cones using small fast shuffling steps, and then sprint to the end of the line. And then we're gonna alternate between advancing back Then the next time, I'll retreat back. All right, so we're going to do that for two minutes straight. On your mark, get set, go.
right, so for the next stage, we are gonna be using this chair here and we are gonna be doing chair jumps. So we're gonna jump up on the chair with both feet like so. Okay, make sure that you, uh, the surface that you're jumping on is nice and stable. Rest it up against the wall. Don't use anything that's gonna break on you, okay? So we're gonna do one minute of jumping up both feet at the same time. And then the final minute, we're gonna be jumping side to side here. So one foot on the chair at a time. Okay, so we're gonna do that one minute, both feet jumping on, the second minute, side to side. All right, ready? On your mark, get set, go. So for the next stage of the workout, we are going to need our wrist weight, if you got it, your saber, foil, or epe, and a coat hanger. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the coat hanger on our blade, get in the unguard position, arm fully extended, and we're gonna make small circles with the blade, okay? We are gonna do this for one minute in a clockwise spinning rotation, and then the second minute in a counterclockwise spinning rotation. Okay, so on guard position, blades ready, and begin.
Great job. Now let's spin it the other direction. So for the next stage of the workout, we are going to be doing one minute of push-ups and then one minute of dips, all right? So for the push-ups, that's pretty self-explanatory. For the dips, I'm going to use this chair here, have my feet out in front of me, and dip here, okay? So we're going to do one minute of each, all right? We're going to start with the push-ups, push-up position, ready, and go. Excellent, great job.
right, so for the next stage of the workout, we are going to need our fencing target and our weapon of choice. I'm going to be demonstrating with the saber, so all I need is a mask. But if you're doing foil or epee, you're going to need some alternative target that you can uh, stab. Uh, there is a really cool YouTube video about how to make a target out of a coat hanger, your jacket, and a pillow. I'll put a link below. Uh, so make sure to check that out. I think she calls it the fencing dummy. It's pretty cool. Um, the other thing that you're going to need to do is mark a line at your advanced lunge distance. Here I've got a line marked. So if my foot's behind this line, if I do advanced lunge, I'll be able to hit. Now after the hit, I'm going to retreat back all the way behind that line. Okay? And I'm going to do advanced lunge, hit on guard, retreat behind this line. And we're gonna do this for two minutes. All right, go as fast as you can, but with good form. All right, so on guard position. And two minutes, ready, go. Excellent, great job, way to go. So for the next stage, we're going to be using the agility ladder here. Uh, we are going to be working two minutes. We're going to work back and forth on the ladder, and we're going to switch it up each time what we're doing. Um, I'll try to explain it as I go, but try and follow along, do the best you can. Go as fast as you can with still doing it correct and accurate. All right. So I'm going to set my timer here for two minutes. First one that we're going to do is just going to run through uh, two steps in each box. Ready? Let's go. Good. And back. All right. Now we're going to go 
go through sideways. And back. Good. And now sideways. In, in, out, out. All right, and back. So for the next stage of the workout, we are going to work on our concentration and on small controlled hand movements, hand and arm movements. So for this one, I'm going to take my foil and we're going to balance it on the palm of my hand and I'm going to advance forward and retreat back, I'm trying to keep it balanced. We're going to do this for two minutes. Way to go.
guys. You're doing great so far. Last and final stage. Let's push through it. We are going to be doing the advanced lunge relay, otherwise known as advanced lunge suicide. So we're going to start off at the first cone. I've got this cone lined up with a line. I highly recommend you have a line for your finish line. That way when you back up, you can make sure that your toe stays on that end line. It doesn't come all the way behind. You want to really work on keeping your toe on that line when you come back after each one. So what we're gonna do is start off at the first line, advance to the first cone, lunge, retreat back, toe on the line. Next toe, lunge, retreat back, toe on the line. Okay, we're gonna do that to each one of the cones, returning back, toe on the end line after each one. All right, so two minutes on guard position. Ready, let's go. Excellent job, everybody. Way to work hard. Great job. All right, everybody, that does it for this workout. Way to go, way to work hard. If you are enjoying these videos, please make sure to like, share, subscribe, and comment below. If you are really liking these videos and you wanna see more content like this, please consider supporting this channel. Any amount that you can contribute will greatly help me produce more awesome content for you. Until next time, guys, stay positive, stay motivated, and stay healthy.